so you chose Rome. I underestimated you. Marburg did not. He said you were a pragmatist, that you would carry out your mission. I couldn't let the bombing happen. I hope you don't blame me for her death. Marburg wanted you to save her. Not out of any emotional tie, mind you. For him, it was business. Tragedy in the wake of the Fort Terror attack on the ruins of Carson Lake. A shame. A second attack. But you can't save everyone, Michael. Of an of no, if I had been in your shoes. Madison St. James. Well, was I don't know what I would have done. So you tried to blow up a museum and murder innocent people. I still don't see how that little stunt was supposed to help you unless you plan to corner the market on terrorism. Really? That's because you have a very narrow view of events. Then tell me what the bigger picture is. I can't expect you to keep up with every news report. I have an entire division devoted to it. Plus my The bombing was intended to reorganize terrorist legislation in the European Union. So what? How does that benefit you? The reorganization was to benefit help. Surveillance, airports being attacked, weapons. Mr. Marburg's little crusade in Rome was to remind Europe what fear is. So you killed Madison for profit? No, Mike, you did. You brought her into this mess. You had her take you to Marburg despite the risks, and then you failed to protect her. Blame me all you want, but step back and think about it. You must have thought about it. When it was all over, you were the big hero. Saved all of Rome. When things were quiet, no one shooting at you. No bombs. Operator? Uh, hello? Or else what? Or people you care about will start to die. Moscow, I was expecting something a little more upscale. 
Stop being a smartass and go use the shower. That might be more tempting if you were here. In your dreams, Mike. made it to Taipei. What are your plans? I sort of figured I'd improvise, put an ear to the ground, and see what I can find out. Don't you think you need a little more focus than that? I've got three leads to start with. This Stephen Heck guy seems like he knows what's going on in Taipei. He might be able to answer some questions. Be careful, Mike. I've checked my databanks, and I can't find any evidence that Stephen Heck has ever worked for the CIA. I'll be on my guard. There's also that anomalous data trail from Shahid's system. Any luck tracing it down? I managed to follow it back to a place in the warehouse district. I'm forwarding the address to you now. What's the final lead? Simple. Follow the money. Shahid was funneling large amounts of money to a front corporation for the White Oak Mountain Triad. I think I can persuade them to tell me why. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. That's just the kind of guy I am. Just be careful. Always. The district earlier today. Red Lion. I'm a friend of the Sheik. Long sure. My name is Michael Thornton. I think you have information I need. I know many things. Both of them would be useful to someone. I'm sure. What is it you want from me, Mr. Thornton? I have no interest in bantering with an American cowboy. It upsets my digestion. Please, get to the point. I know Shahid was funneling money to you, and I know someone is planning to assassinate Ronald's son. I need to know what those two things have in common. And I need to find a woman who will love me for the me me. Listen, I'm on a deadline here, so cut the crap and tell me what I need to know. Mr. Thornton, a man in my position does not get to be a man in my position without knowing the value of a good trade. I can understand that. I suppose the question is what you need. Uh, some of my lieutenants seem to think they would do better without my loving guidance and gentle hand. They have set up shop in a disreputable part of town. Well, if you were to uh, discourage them, I will tell you what I know. Or, plan B, I start shooting you in places you didn't know you had until I get some answers. Yes, I'm sure you're capable of such a thing. But it is very hard to torture someone while his bodyguards are shooting you repeatedly. Well, when you put it that way, it's hard to argue. All right, Mr. Long. <laughs> I knew you would see the wisdom of this deal, Mr. Thornton. Uh, contact me again when my wayward children have been dealt with, huh? Oh, and Mr. Thornton. Yeah? Don't call me Mr. Hong. 